Welcome back to the Transport Bandits channel. I'm Cheryl. I'm Jeff or Mr. Dimples. We're down here in my shop and today we're going to be building a bed. We're going to show you how to build a bed in the back of your truck. Luckily we have some friends staying with us, Barry and Carol Creech, who are staying with us. They need a bed. We're going to show you how to build a bed in $250 in about two and a half hours. It'll be easy. Let's do it. Okay. This is the type of bed you really want to buy for your backseat mattress. Yeah. It's the Spa Sensations at Walmart, twin Eight. size, eight inch thickness, memory foam mattress. And how, what is the price on these? 150. 150. Well, 150 bucks. Right. Yeah, there we go. If you want to build a bed in the back of your truck, you don't have to build a big elaborate frame. Only thing you need is a three quarter inch piece of plywood, and one two before to make legs. Because that plywood will be strong enough with just the legs without a frame around it. Especially by the time you get the mattress on there, the weight's distributed out all over it, it'll be fine with just four legs. But you need to use three quarter inch plywood like we have here. We got our three quarter inch plywood. This cost $60? Yeah, about $60. Okay, and then we've got some two by four already in the back, in the wood shop back there and you want to purchase that um, eight inch memory foam mattress from Walmart. We're gonna use for the purposes of this video, this is the uh, type of sheet that we use, which is the cotton jersey sheet, because then you don't have to deal with wrinkles and the sheet corners. And that's the only thing that we bought. Yeah, look at the plywood again. Here's the plywood. I'm telling you guys, if you use that three quarter inch plywood, you don't need to build a frame all around it. You just need four legs. It's strong enough. First, we're going to have to take the back seats out of the existing truck. Okay, this is my friend Carol. Hey, say hi, hey. Carol. Okay, let's do it. What tools do we need? A couple power tools. Make quick work of taking the bolts out of the back seat. Alright, one bolt's out. Now we're going to have to come back with a... Do you have a box wrench? Looks like we're going to need probably... I bet that's going to be a 17, I bet. Two here, and there's going to be one here. And two in the middle. And this is Barry Creech. Doing all the hard work. 18 mil. 18. 18 mil. mil. And what what year truck is this? This is a 17. A 17 Ford F350. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> just at an awkward angle. Okay, so how many bolts are under the little passenger seat side? So we got one, two. Three, four, five. It looks like there's five. Okay. So we're going to take those five bolts out first. And using a deep well socket works better than just the wrench. Now, watch your knuckles on the bottom of the seat here. There we go. And we got it. There we go. One's down. The one in between the seat belts right here, the first one, is going to be a 15 mil. You're gonna need a uh, six inch extension and um, a wobbly. And a wobbly. A swivel. A swivel. A thing of a jig that bends. Oh, and there's that one right there. So Barry, your seat may just come out. It may not be hanging. Huh? Now I gotta take out one more bolt back here. Okay. Same as those first three. Another one down. 
keep all your bolts and everything. It's best to keep them yeah. together in a little Ziploc baggie so you don't get those lost. Cheryl, the most important thing is to make sure you have a supervisor. A supervisor? And that would be you? There we go. <laughs> and I'm the videographer. One more thing is the seatbelt. Oh, the seatbelt, yep. We left our seatbelts in. Right. Um, I think we just tucked you know, them under. Is in too, but just un unattach it from the seat. Yeah, attach yeah. it from the seat. Unattach that from the oh. seat. All right, seat belt is uh, unattached. Uh, the seat should just come right out now, right? right unlock it from both. That was a little latch over there on the side. And look at there, there's the seat going out. Good job, Barry. So that seat is done. Now we're just working on the big double seat. Carol's Carol doing a good job. Yeah, She's doing good. Here here. We got one right here too. Yes. There you go. And that's how girls do it. You have to lift it up the seat up and over this bolt over here. Okay, so lift up and over. All right, this is a, like a two-person job. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, there's probably one in the back. And I think there's probably a latch that's back behind the... Uh... Yeah, but we have a seatbelt latch. We have oh, seat yep. With the... Yep, we've got to get rid of that seatbelt. I don't like that. I'm for a right. lot of stuff. What's the last thing? Take out the center... Center seat, seat bolt. bolt. Seat belt bolt. Huh? Now we should be able to lift it out. Behind the seat. Pull the seat belt out of the uh, seat. Let's see. Did you get it? Headsets down. Uh -oh. Let's see if we can just lift it up and over the bolt. Stubborn. Okay, so you're going to run into this problem occasionally when you can't figure out what is holding that back seat in. I think everybody who is taking out the back seat run into this problem. You're almost ready to take it out, and then there's one more thing that's holding it in. Right, on this side, you're going to have one of these little uh, retaining clips, little plastic ones. Uh -huh. Just going to either just have to pull it straight up. Or you can probably get some kind of a knife or something in there and jimmy it out of there. And just get it on out of there. All right, let's do it now. Might need a crowbar or something. Come on. We'll lift that up. I guess you'll have one right here. Oh, there you go. Kind All right, crowbar. We're going to try and jimmy that up oh over that bolt. It's just in the front and it's stuck. There we go. Oh, there. The you need a. I'm kind of pry bar. I have to lift that side up pretty hard. Got yep, it? we got it. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> the struggle is real. Something's stuck. Something stuck. What is it? It's a whole bracket on the wall, and I'm not sure how it comes out. You might want to come over here. Let's keep it right there and come over. See that slides up and down on it. Oh. It's right here. I'm not sure exactly what this is. We'll have to tackle that in a second. This is our crazy cousin Steve. He's What's come up. up. Hello, Steven. Is this is our cousin Steve. He's an over the road trucker. And he's come up to say hi this weekend. Hello there, Steve. And we have the peanut gallery. I need to that old black piece off. While we watch the creatures diligently work hard. Mm. And or destroy our truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at this. We got a whole crew of idiots trying to get that seat out. Oh, we got it! I am the number it's one free. idiot. <laughs> oh. That was the key. All right. And it's out. And it's out. Now the fun begins. That was easy once you figured yeah. it out. Now the easy part. All right, so this now. is what the back seat looks like. Back seatless. We're gonna come over here and I'll show you what pin you have to pull to get that out of yeah. there. Yeah, let's go, come over here and we're gonna show you what pin you have to pull to get that out. Get the rest of the back seat out. All we have to do is take this little lever and you can push it when it's when it's when it's in. 
was the other one. Yeah. Now this, this is the top of the seat. Right. And this it is the bottom. Up. It went up when it. Yeah. It was. It was down. It was down when the here. The seat was in, and when we pushed it up, the seat popped right out. Oh, okay. So is that's it? the little lever that yeah, you need to pull feels? up yeah. to free the back seat. Okay. And it comes out just like that. Good job, guys. Like butter. All right. So we are going to commence with the mattress making process now. Okay, the first thing you want to do is measure. We're going to make our mattress. You can make it any height you want, but we're going to make our mattress even with the with the console. So we're going to cut. We know the mattress is about eight inches. So if we measure down to eight inches, about right there. Um, bottom of my finger. All right, bottom of your finger. So we need legs that will come from the floor to about eight inches. Look at that. That's almost exactly a foot. So we're going to start off by just cutting them at a foot, the two by four legs. Start with the legs. Two by fours, we're going to make them one foot for the front two legs. And right. then we'll see. And what now we, we have need to, to measure how wide and how deep. To okay. Make it. Let's measure how wide. We're going to come back from the console. Let's see. Um, from about the eight inches. Don't worry about your front seat. Your front seat will push into the mattress slightly, and that's fine because the mattress is foamy or whatever. You don't ever really put it back much more than that, right? No. No, it's that works that. Yeah, it'll just push the into the mattress just a little bit. So, for the platform, though, we're not going to make the platform measure completely. From piece, measure from a piece of plastic. We need it from, from the... Uh, a piece of plastic sticking out right there. No. Right, no. right here, because that's going to be your widest point right there. Yep because the platform is actually going to be like down here. And we'll measure all the way back to the back wall. To the widest point. To the point. widest point on the back wall where the platform would come to. Oh, we're going to make it about 44, 43. 44. Let's make that 44. 44. 44. We need the widest point because the, the platform's about right there. So we're going to make it a little less. Are you filming, Jeff? Yeah. We're going to make it a little less than the door handle, just to make sure that that door handle is not going to rub on the wood platform. So let's take that across through there. The widest point where the platform would be would be about right there. We have a that, 62. A 62. Let's, six, let's, let's go 61 and a half. And a half. 61 and a half. We give this a double check, that double measure, that. measure twice, cut once. Yeah. Right now, uh. So if that's 61 and a half, is that too close to the door handle? I'll make it 61. Let's it make it a, a 61 because right. it's okay if your mattress. Yeah, yeah. 61. Because yeah, this good. is it's just the, the this is just the base for the the actual bed. So yeah. if it's Children a little shorter, uh, if it's a little shorter on the base, then your mattress will hang out a little bit, and your door handles won't hit that base when you're opening and shutting your doors. So because you don't want to rub your your seat on the plat the wood platform, we are going to give ourselves a couple of inches on the the platform where the seat is and a couple of inches back here. So we're gonna make the platform forty one inches deep. Forty one inches deep. Oh. What you do is you close both doors and you do your measurement that way. And look around. You better measure from here to there, Cheryl, not the door. Yeah. All the, yeah, I forgot about there. Oh, actually, yeah, you're right. Okay. So the white, the 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 closest two points in the back seat is actually not your door. It might be the, your back panels back here. So if you're going to have your platform come back past your panels, make sure you clear that, mm -hmm. and that's going to be, I'm thinking, 58 and a half. Take two inches because it's up against. Yeah, that because you you're, you're all the way. Up. Even inch on that side, inch on that side, you can take two inches off with the number. Fifty-eight and a half should be a good. All right, now measure good. the front one. Fifty-eight and a half would be right there. That was a little on each side. Yeah, and that leaves mm -hmm. a little on each side, so that's going to be a good clearance. Fifty-eight yeah. and a half by forty-one. Is that correct? Yep. Right. All right, 58 and a half uh, lengthwise by 41 width, width. width right. or dip, depth. Yep, well, that's not a problem. Okay, so let's get that cut down. All right, so we have our measurements. We're going to take a T-square to make us a nice straight line. 
58 and a half, right? 58 and a half by 41. Put yourself two marks and then use your T-square. Draw a line straight across. Always remember, measure twice, cut once. We just use a Sharpie pen, draw us a line across through there, and we're ready to cut that length off. Okay, we have our width cut. Now we're going to cut our depth. Now we have our width and our length. Okay, then Jeff's going to go over the edges with a sander just to make sure it's not sharp. So we measured the feet for the platform at, at one foot, but you want to cut them at 11 inches and one quarter to make up for the three quarter inch plywood. Now you're gonna need a level. You put the front legs on first, level your bed so it's not leaning with your truck and then measure for your back legs. So you want to put your big board in there, put your two front legs up huh? under there without them being screwed in. Measure your back leg where you want to put it. And then we're gonna level the board. Hold on. Okay, so we're going to level the board. Somebody's gonna hold it and we're gonna measure it. So I'm gonna go hold it while he measures. Take note of about where we want to put the leg to make sure that that 11 inches isn't some place where it has an upraised portion on the floor. So we'll put a little note there on the board about where we want to put the back leg. Now you want to make sure that it's good and level and you're going to place your, without putting screws in the legs yet, we want to make sure that the top board is exactly where we want that to be, not too close to the edges or we can move it around once we get the legs on there. That just looks perfect to me. Yeah. All right, let's screw the legs in. Okay, now the tricky part comes is to line up the leg with the top of the board and just put you some good screws in there. Okay, so now you want to get your 8-inch memory foam mattress from Walmart, 8-inch uh, Serenity Spa Sensation, that's what we recommend. Twin size will fit perfectly, you won't have to cut any off of the edges, that should fit. And open up the bag, roll it out, open it up, and then the tricky part comes, stay tuned for that. Memory foam, it's still compacted, so it needs like 24 hours to get good and full and breathe up to the eight, full 8 inches. What you want to do is find your zipper, which is on your outer layer of your mattress, because you don't want to cut up your outer layer of your mattress. You can cut it with a knife if you need to, because it's all going to get folded under. Yeah, cut, cut that out. Since it doesn't come unzipped for some reason, there's a zipper here that doesn't unzip. You can just cut it because that's not going to be a problem for you because we're only going to cut it down this side and a little bit down on this length and a little bit down on this length. Just enough so we can roll the mattress cover back off of the foam. Right along the zipper. Just right along the zipper. Okay. Part way in. Now we're going to we're going to cut it down to let's try about down to about right there. Just so we can get it rolled back. That should be good. Let's cut this side. Down to about the same way. Yeah. Sort of there. And I left so. the tag that you're not supposed to cut off. It's still yeah. there. Okay. So now what we want to do is just fold that down. Fold this <coughs> through the foam. And now you have an under layer. So we're going to fold that back off of our foam. 
Oh, and then our foam right comes out. Now we have this wonderful cheese clothy underlayer. Okay, that's going to ruin your knife. Okay, so we're going to cut that too. Okay, and then just roll that back. Jeff, you got us all on here? Mm -hmm. Just roll this cheesecloth under layer back off of your foam. So now you've got just your foam mattress, and it's like got softy stuff on one side, cooling foam or something on the one side. Okay, so then pull it off of your table so you clear your table. And we're going to do our measurements. And our measurements were? 64 and a half. 64 and a half. Tape. Measuring tape. So I'm marking 64 and a half there. I'm marking 64 and a half here. As you can see, it takes an entire team of people here to supervise. <laughs> you on your line, Cheryl? That's good. That's good, Steve. Keep her in line. Yeah, keep her in line. <laughs> Make sure. You got this. Okay. So now we have. We need to cut it off. Okay. Electric turkey carving knife for cutting foam. Never used it on a turkey. Always on a mattress. Just kind of go real easy. I'm marking it back and forth to make sure it goes all the way through. Because it doesn't matter if it's a pretty, you know, beautifully clean cut. Girl, all right, I'm in. Just follow the line. Since you're going to be walling around on this and it might come undone, strip about right we, here. we put quite a few more strips on there. Yeah. Okay, so that's basically all you need to hold your mattress. Let's flip this thing over and see. Now, we have a beautiful, cushy mattress and it's getting fluffier as we speak. Okay. And now we're going to slot it into the truck. Okay, we're going to take the mattress, we're going to cram it in the truck. Mikey's, look at that. Look at that. All that room. That's a lot of real estate. All right. Now you are ready and set to go. Look at that beautiful bed. So much room for activities. He's making a bed. All right. Now we will straighten that out a little bit and we are going to put the, uh, the sheets. And I'm going to show you how I do the sheets here in just two seconds. Now, we have, I have recommended to buy the jersey sheet instead of the cotton sheet because they don't crawl around and cause so many wrinkles. And uh, for $3.98, you can buy a set of four of the sheet grippers. So let's put that sheet on. We're only going to be using the fitted part of the fitted sheet set, just the fitted sheet. If you want to keep the other sheet for the oversheet, that's fine, but we just are going to be using the fitted part of the fitted sheet. 
Okay, so we've got our fitted sheet on. There's gonna be a lot of leftover sheet underneath the mattress. And that's why we use the sheet corners, the sheet grippers. I'll show you what I do with them. Now, you just take a sheet gripper to this extra mattress, uh, extra sheet that you had here, take it to the sidewall, end to the sidewall, and that's gonna hold your sheet down nice and tight. And we are done. Wow. Done. Yay! Huh? <laughs> okay, and there we go. We've got a bed in the back seat. $250. Two hours. Two, a little less than two and a half hours. Easy peasy. Yep, easy peasy. Nice and comfy. Yeah, that's going to be super nice. Yeah. This is the Bandit's bed in our 19 Ford F-350. We modified the rear doors to allow an extra foot of space but we can't roll the weird windows down. We just push the seats forward, put our bathroom bags or coats or whatnot behind the seats and put a little blanket over that part of the console and it's plenty comfortable for two people. We love it back here. Okay, that's it for the Transport Bandits. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button. Put a little comment down below if we forgot something or you have a better tip for making a bed. And Jeff, what else do they want to do? Subscribe. There he is. Subscribe to our channel. We appreciate that. That this is starring Carol and Barry Creech. Give them a big hand. Yay! Transport, Transport Bandits, Bandits out. out.